All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick. So you are correct. Uh, previous 2Ks, it was the vinyl seat cover thing. You had to change that and that basically worked. Change the color and you was good. This year, everything is tied to, um, they just made it, they just tied it to the scene file. So I'm gonna show you here. So um, basically the logo that's on top of the seat cover, you see that little NBA logo right there? The little NBA logo, they, they tied the seat cover color and a logo all in one little section on the scene file. So all you want to do is look for this uh, NBA logo current PNG. If you scroll up to the script that controls this and look at the parameters here, this section right here controls the color of that seat cover. So this default Abito, um, what you want to do here is you want to basically take Whatever color you want to make it, just make sure you find the RGB values. So I'm just using this website, just one that I use. The RGB values are 241, 194, 50. Basically what you want to do is you want to take a calculator and you want to divide those numbers by 255 because that's the max. So basically 241 divided by 255 equals 0.94. And this spot here, you're just gonna add those three numbers once you do that, that uh, do the math on that. Put these numbers here in this spot under default to Beto. Then you wanna scroll up and you wanna go to where it says Albedo modulate and you wanna make sure that it's not set to alpha. By default, it's gonna be a one there because they looking at that as an alpha layer, but you, you're not doing that. You basically wanna say that it's not an alpha layer, so you're gonna change that to zero. Once you do that, um, Throw the scene, actually, you know, throw the scene file back into the archive, and then you'll see this is the color that I use for this. We go to the Bulls. We go to the replay. Ugh. You can see the seat covers are the little covers on there are yellow, so you can see it right there. And then you can go and make that logo transparent if you want to remove the logo, change the logo, you know, your typical stuff like that. But yeah, that's how you do it. So look in the scene file, look for the NBA logo current um, under the default albedo. Just divide those numbers by 255 and then make sure you change the modulate. You remove that last section, which determines if it's alpha layer or not. Just uh, just make sure that's set to zero. Save it, update it. Let me know if it works.